and welcome to module four. This topic is how to create Instagram grids or what some people might call puzzles using Canva. Now I've broken it down into two parts. So this is part one. So what I'm going to show you in this module is really a simple way of creating an Instagram grid really by using Canva and then uploading straight to Instagram. So let me have a show you at my current business page. I've unarchived just to be able to show you these three images where you can see down the bottom it says you've got this. So they really are just three different images created in Canva and then just uploaded consecutively into my Instagram feed and then they show up lined up one after the other. But what you've got to remember is that the first one that you load will end up in this location, the last on the far right. The second one that you upload will be in the middle and then the last one that you upload will be the one on the left. So remember that you've got to think of them as number three, number two and number one, or if you're doing three, six or nine different grids, then obviously you're going to number them the same sequence always remembering that the first one you post ends up being the last one on the edge of your feed. Now I'll just show you what we're going to do in part two which is a little bit more complex but not really <laughs> once you've done it once you'll be able to do it so many times. The other way that I'm going to show you is how to create um, this similar six image grid by creating the images in Canva and then uploading them into an app on your phone and then loading them from the app directly onto your Instagram feed. But I'll show you that in part two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is by doing it live streaming directly to my phone. And also you'll get to see a new account that I've created on Instagram today just purely to be able to post some of these exercises on there so that you can see them direct. So just going to start sharing my phone with you. So this is really just Instagram. Okay, so we're going to start off by putting in that we want to create an Instagram post because that is the exact measurement that we want for Instagram, which is 1080 by 1080. You don't need to know that, but in the future you might need to when you want to create some more technical Instagram grids or puzzles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just scroll through and find the quickest an easiest way to do uh, this particular exercise and module just to show you how quick it can be. So I want to find something that stands out. Something, oh, here we go. Focus. That's that's what I need to do at the moment. Focus. <laughs> so this is a template and all it's asking me to do. For those that haven't uh, used Canva on your phone, this is exactly the same way you would see it on your phone. Okay, so there's a few little tips that are a little bit different to the desktop version. So I'll just basically press edit because I want to use that particular template. Now because I want three images to be exactly the same, what I could do is I could do three images uh, three different ways or in this way I'm going to show you the quickest way that I do is I want to add another page. So at the moment there's just one page and it says focus but I want to be exactly the same as that one. So I'm going to now create a new page. So you notice the little plus sign there. If you press that it gives you another page and it gives you another page. So now we've got three pages. So I want to tap on the first one and I've noticed I like that they've written their focus there but I want it to be a bit bigger. So I'm going to put the focus a bit bigger and that's all I want to do for that one. And then what I'm going to do for the middle one is I want to add some words. Now what's a little bit different on the uh, phone version of Canva is you'll notice there's a little plus sign down the bottom and that's where you'll find a lot of the tabs that you normally would find on the desktop version but in a different location. So you scroll along. So all I want to do at the moment is I want to add some words. So I'm going to add some text and you can notice the colour section here is black. So I'm going to make it white. Okay and I'm going to put in there focus on having. Okay and I'm just going to size it. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. Now, I might want to just brand it with my my Instagram initials. So I might just be a little bit sneaky here and just put 
that goals guru one now remember if someone uses this on any other platform they're not going to know what that means because the the link is really just for my instagram feed so i'm going to pop it there okay and then i'm going to go to the last page so focus on having and i'm just going to put and make it white again okay and i'm going to put lots of fun and coffee okay so i'm just going to resize it and there i'm done that's it and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to download them all okay so if i just press download it's going to download all three if i went to each individual one it would download whichever one i wanted but i'm because i want to use all three and show you how to upload them live i'm just downloading them all at the one time so this is downloading direct to my phone okay and canvas trying to sell the new version but uh, the pro version but it's fine <laughs> so i'm just going to log out of that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually take you onto my instagram account it's a new one that i've created today and i've already just got a little grid up there because i wanted to show you uh, a way that we're going to do it in part two so all you do now is you basically upload the photos so remembering that which one was number three so this was number three this is the one that's going to so it basically said focus on having lots of coffee so lots of coffee is the first one when i want to post so i'm not going to do anything more at the moment other than just post i'm not going to put any hashtags or anything like that so i'm just going to pop that there okay so if we have a look at the feed we notice one's already up so i'm going to press and i'm going to go having that was the next one that i needed to post next next remember no hashtags at the moment we'll talk about that another time so now we've got two we'll refresh it a little bit and then my word focus here i'm going to press next next share and there my friends is how you create very simple and easy instagram grids simply by using canva and then uploading them straight into instagram in a sequence now that's the easy way you can do it with so many different photos and all sorts of amazing things so i want you to play around and practice and then come back for part two where i show you a very, just a slight variation on how to use canva and a phone app to create some really cool instagram grids as well see you in the next module remember practice practice makes perfect